Hi, my name is Richard Solomon. I'm the Technical Marketing Manager at Synopsys for the DesignWare PCI Express Controller IP. And today I'm going to take you through a demonstration of our DMA controller, how you can use that to allocate bandwidth amongst different applications. So let's start with the demo hardware itself. What we have here is the PHY test board for our actual CERDES PHY IP. And these are the boards that we build to actually show the silicon and do our characterization tests, things like that. Today we're going to use it as part of the demo setup. And that board is connected to our HAPS emulation platform, which is a FPGA emulation that you can use to evaluate your design and test things out. Today what we've compiled into that is actually our PCI Express DMA engine IP. So let's go ahead and power up the demo here. Now that the lights come on, we can boot the system up. The first thing we want to check is to make sure that our device has been recognized by the system. So let's go into Device Manager, and we look here under Other Devices, and there it is. Our Synopsys EDMA device has been recognized by the system. So that means that our FPGA configuration completed successfully, and the device has been recognized by the PCI Express host system. Now we're ready to proceed with the demo. Now that we've brought up the demo application, what we'd like to do is go in and reprogram the DMAs to show some different balances. Because what's interesting about DMA is the ability to allocate bandwidth unevenly amongst our applications. So let's imagine that our right channel number one is connected to a high priority application. I'm going to give that four times the weighting of the low priority application. And let's do the same thing on read channel number one as well. Now that I've configured the DMA engines the way I'd like them, I'm going to go ahead and select all four DMA engines, and we'll click on Run. We see there's 650 megabytes a second for the write channels. We see about 550 megabytes a second for the read channels. And let's take a look at how that's being allocated. Here we can see the kind of yellowish color is our low priority write channel and it's getting oh, a little over 150 megabytes a second. This purplish color is our high priority channel, and that one's getting right about 500 megabytes a second. So we can see two things. One, we got the division of bandwidth between the two channels the way we were asked for. And two, we can see that the sum of those two channels is our total bandwidth. So we're not losing much to the allocation amongst the two channels. Now let's take a look at our read channels. We'll bring up two read channels. And likewise, we can see a little bit lower, about 140 something perhaps on the low priority read channel, a little over 400 on the higher priority read channel. So we're also seeing the same balance on the read channels. Now let's look at all four together. And we can see that even though all four channels are running, there's no disruption. We have an even balance following the allocation that we set. So today you've seen how to use the DesignWare IP for PCI Express with DMA controller to efficiently allocate bandwidth amongst multiple channels. Thank you for watching.